Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Do you want to play PC VR games wirelessly on your Oculus Quest? But you're not sure if it will even be good with your setup. And two, you don't even want to pay for it. <laughs> but virtual desktop costs $20. Well, have no fear, Whackman is here. Today, I'm going to show you how to play PC VR games wirelessly for absolutely free. So if you enjoy the video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it lets me know to make more of this type of content. Talking about free, remember my ETH special giveaway is on right now where I will be giving away either Hyper Dash, Gone or the newly released Cosmo Dread and the winner will get to choose which game they want. So if you want to enter, then just like the video, subscribe to the channel, put on bell notifications and comment hashtag E2021 down below. Well, let's get straight into the video. Now, what I'm about to show you is quite straightforward, so as long as you have the required specifications, you should not have a problem. So what you need to have to be able to do this are the following. Firstly, ensure you have a VR ready PC, otherwise none of the games will work. I've listed the minimum specs in the description in case you're not sure. Also, make sure you have a better router than the one your ISP has provided, as normally they give terrible ones. It will still work, but might not give you the desired results. Also, if you have a lot of devices connected to your router, then this may cause some increased latency. I will be coming out with a video soon on a great cheap Wi-Fi 6 router and if it's worth getting. Next, you will need SideQuest and have developer mode activated to be able to use SideQuest, as well as a cable to connect to SideQuest. If you haven't done this part before, then click the video above or in the description below, which will tell you how to set this up. So the first step is to download the Oculus Rift software on the PC. I've left a link in the description to make it easier for you. You need enough space on your C drive to be able to install it. It's kind of annoying that it won't let you install it anywhere else other than your main drive, however you can still install the games on different drive if you wish. You will also need Steam and Steam VR installed as well. Please note, if you want to play Oculus games, you will also need to install an application called Revive. I've left a link in the description below, but it's really easy to install. Just click the installer, which will download it, then double click it and then install the application. It's quite straightforward. Once you've installed everything, now let's go on to how to actually get wireless PC VR. The application we are going to use is called ALVR. Now you may have heard of this before, but it has completely changed and is so much easier to use now. You will see what I mean in a bit. First thing we need to do is connect your Quest to your PC using a USB-C cable. You can also use a USB-C phone charger, that's exactly what I used. Once you have connected it, make sure you press allow in the headset. If the pop-up doesn't appear, just restart your headset. Once you're connected, go on to SideQuest and make sure the headset connected sign is on. If so, then type in the search box ALVR. You want the lighter version for the Quest and not the nightly one. The nightly version is for developers and is less stable. Once you're on there, just simply click install to headset and that will install ALVR in your headset. Next, click on the first GitHub page in the ALVR SideQuest to download the PC application. I've left a link in the description in case you're not sure. That will take you to the GitHub page and at the time of this video, it's version 15.1.1. Now click on the alvrinstaller.exe file, that will download the installer. Then click on it and install it to your PC. Once it has installed, you will need to do a few simple things. A prompt may come up to install the audio drivers. If it does, make sure you install it, otherwise you won't be able to hear anything from the headset. If it doesn't and you haven't previously installed this, then click on installation and click run setup wizard. Click next and you should be able to download it from there. Then the next part is add firewall rules. This is so the application doesn't get stopped by a firewall. Next is the Oculus tracking. To be honest, I would choose Oculus prediction for the best results as the other options use PC and Steam VR to determine where your controllers are instead of the headset, which I don't believe works as well, but you can give it a try if you want. Then you choose either compatibility or visual quality. You may need to play around with this depending on your setup and see what's best for you. If everything is working perfectly on visual quality, then great. Otherwise, you might need to go for compatibility. After that, it may ask you about importing presets. You don't need any of that, just press next and you're done. Now, what you need to make sure is both your Quest and your PC are on the same Wi-Fi network. If they aren't, the application will be able to find the PC. Now, you don't need any cables connected to the PC. Simply go onto your Quest headset, click on applications, then click on the drop down on the right and scroll down to unknown sources. Then click that and you should see ALVR at the top. Click on it for it to launch you into Steam VR. If you want to play an Oculus game, you need to click the left menu button on the controller, then click desktop and launch the game from Revive. Or you can just click it from your PC yourself. And that's it. Now you can play PC VR games wirelessly for free. I will also be making a video whether it's worth buying virtual desktop on the Quest for wireless PC VR or if this is a good enough solution. 
If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, remember to enter my giveaway. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and see you next time.